As you can tell, we're doing things a little bit different today. I am chilling with my plant babies and I wanted to do the get to know me tag, but before we jump into that, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to the first 100 subscribers to my YouTube channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I appreciate all my friends and family and clients who um, subscribe and then they subscribe, made their friends subscribe. I appreciate it all. Um, I reached that first goal. My second goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers and to get this watch time up. So again, thank you if you've already subscribed. If you haven't, please do so and make sure you tell a friend. Um, we are going to hop into the get to know me tag. We're just going to get straight into it. Um, I have some questions here on my notepad and then I also have um, the actual official get to know me tag questions. I'm not going to do all of them because there's a lot, but what I am going to do is I'm going to set a timer and I think I'll do maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I haven't decided yet, but I'll set a timer and I'm just going to answer as many questions as I can within that time frame. Um, if I run out of time and I feel like I want to answer some more things or I don't get to my notebook, then I will do a part two of this video. So we'll see how far we get. I think I'm going to go with 15 minutes, um, just cause I haven't really done a long video before. And I don't know, I, I kind of breeze through the questions. Um, it shouldn't be too long, but you never know. So we are going to get started. I have the questions pulled up here. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. The very first question is, where did you grow up? So I grew up in Oklahoma, but kind of like all over. I lived in Oklahoma City, I lived on the north side. I lived in the country in Spencer, which is my love. Um, and I'm currently in Midwest City. Um, where do you currently live? So that's question number two. I'm currently in Midwest City. So I've lived in Spencer um, for the last 15 years. It's still weird to even say that um, I haven't moved but or that I moved, but I moved over um, Christmas break. And so we've been in the new house about a month and I absolutely love it. And um, I actually manifested this place. The story for that is kind of crazy, but I have been um, looking at this area for about a year and it just literally just happened. Um, nothing but God and I appreciate it and I love it and I'm excited to be here. Yay. Um, how tall are you? I am five, seven and a half. Cats or dogs? So Prior to last year, I probably would have just automatically said dogs up top. I still um, love dogs, but last year I was forced to have a kitten and um, I never knew how easy cats were because I never had cats. And I actually thought that it was pretty cool. It was just my, cat, my house is not um, cat friendly, I guess. And then at the time I had two dogs, so it just wasn't a good mix. But Maybe in the future, if I decide to, um, I'll get a cat. But right now, I'm into plants. So that's what we're going to stick with. Um, funniest moment throughout high school. Um, if you are one of my day ones and you went to prom, junior prom with me and you went to the... Oh, no, no, no. This was senior prom. Senior prom with me and you were there after hours then you know what that is <laughs> where you were you born i was born in 1982. uh are you or have you gone to college yes i attended oklahoma city community college in the beginning um i took a little break and then when i went back to school i attended heritage college and i actually have two aos degrees from there i have one in massage therapy and one in personal training um mm -mm -mm. some of these i'm skipping so we'll just go through uh tea or coffee probably prior to maybe about six months or so i would have just said um tea but we have a coffee shop that just opened up a few months ago by the studio and so i've kind of been experimenting i'll go in there and try different things every once in a while so 
Um, the only time I drank coffee prior to that was um, in the winter time. My church would serve coffee because it's cold, and that's when I would drink it. I didn't drink it any other time. So maybe a little bit of both. What are your life goals to be the absolute best mom that I can be? That's it. Uh, what sports did you play or have you played? I have not played officially in sports since middle school. I played basketball and I ran track. Um, mm, 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 mm. Are you single or taken? I am single and we'll just leave it at that. What is your dream idea uh, or what is your idea of a dream date? Um, I love to eat and so I would have to say the very first thing would be good food. It doesn't matter if you cook it, you order it, or you know, I was to go out to eat. As long as it's some good food, good conversation, good vibes, then I would consider that a good date. Um, how long was your longest relationship? Seven and a half, eight years, somewhere around there. And it's been over for 10 years. How would you describe your fashion sense? Well, um, I don't have one. I wear tights and t-shirts and hoodies pretty much every day. So yeah, that's that. What is your go-to hairstyle? If my hair is in individual braids, I'll probably put it in a bun, but I'm actually trying to grow my hair out. Um, and so I've just been braiding it back and throwing on a cap and calling it a day. How many siblings do you have? I have four siblings. I have three sisters and one brother. Do you have a PC or a Mac? So my actual computer is a Mac and it was gifted to me and I'm so super grateful um, that it was such a blessing. I, she said that I could never tell who she was, but I really, really appreciated that. Like it was just one of those things that just happened. She said, I don't want anything in return. And she literally gave me a Mac. Um, my laptop is an HP and that's the one that I had prior to that. And I still have it and I still use it. Um, mm, mm, mm. what is your most memorable vacation memory? I'm working on that one. My goal for this year is to actually, um, get somewhere and travel. So I'm working on that one. We'll come back to that one. Tell us, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um, I feel like if you're super, super close to me, you would know this, but just, you know, clients or something like that, you may not know. Um, I have a little bit of OCD and um, some like random fact I think is that I don't like odd numbers. Like I seriously don't like odd numbers. So say for instance, if I can see the volume on the radio or the TV, like it can't be on 13. That drives me nuts. Like, I would have to change it. It doesn't matter if I'm in your car, my car, at your house, or whatever. I have to change it if I can see it. Now, if I don't see it, whatever. Um, but no, I don't like odd numbers, but multiples of fives are okay. It's weird. I don't know. Um, what is your favorite Netflix show? I just finished um, You... Uh, yesterday and Joe is crazy as hell if you have not seen that um, watch it he's crazy uh, before that I watched the Messiah series and um, usually I don't get too deep or heavy into religious type things but um, it kind of caught my attention it was very interesting and it makes you think and so and it had me on the edge of my seat pretty much the whole time i'm actually excited for season two so um messiah was pretty good um describe your first crush i don't even remember my first crush Job. I think I'm going to do a couple more of these and then I'm going to move to my notebook. Um, 
celebrity crush uh, would have to be Drake. Um, if we're talking about girls or women, I love Rihanna and I love Beyonce. So Drake, Rihanna, Beyonce, top of my list. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do have a pet. I have Coco. He just ran across here um, a few minutes ago. He is a Yorkie and his brother, Lucky, he was a boxer. He actually passed away last summer. Um, it was kind of traumatizing for my family because we've had both of those dogs for over 10 years. So I only have Coco now. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of a plant mom now. So I think if something was to happen to him, I probably wouldn't get another pet, um, especially right away because that was kind of tough. Um, what are one of the happiest memories in your life becoming a mom? Uh, let's do maybe five more and then I'll jump into this one. Or maybe that's it. Okay, so yeah, that's enough for the actual official get to know me questions. I'm going to jump on to some things that I had on my notebook. Um, let's see, let's see. So a lot of people ask me if I have kids. I have one child. I have a son. His name is Jeremiah and he is a freshman in high school. Um, I just talked about my fur babies and my plant babies. My birthday actually just passed. My birthday is January the 15th and I was born in 1982. I told you that earlier, so you do the math. And um, uh, I am the first grandchild and I was born on my grandmother's birthday, which also happens to be Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So that's pretty cool. I'm a Capricorn. Favorite colors. Um, my favorite color is purple, but my favorite color to wear is black. I'm always, always, always in black. Let's see. Oh, what do I do for a living? So, of course, um, I am a entrepreneur. I own my own business. Um, I have a health and wellness studio in Oklahoma, Dell City to be more specific. And I am a massage therapist, a personal trainer, and um, a group exercise instructor. So, I teach um, boot camp. I teach... Um, all kind of stuff but the main thing is yoga um, I teach classes at my studio in Dell City and then I also teach at Metro Tech and I also teach um, well I sub classes at the Y and then I teach at some private spaces as well let's see mm -mm -mm. I don't like small talk I wrote that down so I am one of those people that if I have something to talk about, I can talk for a pretty long time, but I don't like small talk. I don't like when people text me and just say, hey, like text me and tell me what you want. Um, I don't like Messenger on um, any social media platform, really. Um, if you want to text me and tell me something quick, that's cool. But if you want to have a full conversation or actually talk about something, pick up the phone and call me. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm an introvert by nature, I think. Um, and I love my alone time, but I do get out. Um, I can, I don't say I do because I don't often, but I can get out and socialize um, and hang out and stuff. But actually, I would prefer to be at home and especially in my new home because I love it. Um, when I get my couch, it's going to be hard to get me out of here because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be here all the time. Dream vacation is Bali. Um, I think I'm just gonna hurry up and just finish all of these. I don't know how far we are on the time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it. That way we don't have to do a part two. So I'm gonna breeze through these really, really quick. Um, love, hate, so, um, relationship with social media. Uh, probably if it wasn't for business, I wouldn't be on social media. But I do have, like I said, my studio and it's very beneficial for you to be online and be able to interact with your clients and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm here. And let's see, favorite TV shows, 
So I am totally into like crime shows. I like Criminal Minds, Snapped, um, NCIS, um, and I was just recently telling somebody Law and Order. I was recently telling somebody this the other day. Like I have always, always been into the those type of shows. I used to watch Madlock and Perry Mason and The Heat of the Night. Like I've always liked those shows. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, that's just what I like. Let's see. Summer is my favorite season. I love, love, love to be hot. I do not like to be cold. Um, I hate being cold. So, yeah, winter is not my thing. Let's see. Lots of nicknames for me. So, some people call me GB or Miss B. Um, sister, Foxy, Foxy Lady. Um, Foxy Lady GB, I've used that. Um, uh, on social media like that goes back to my space and all of that foxy lady um gb00 the kind of breakdown of that is that i am of course a little sassy so that's where the fat foxy part comes in um but i'm definitely a lady gb is my initials and the zero zero is for um 2000 which is the year when i graduated um my first job was at mcdonald's and i actually worked there for three years um, I liked it. What would I do if I hit the lottery? I would go to Bali and live <laughs> and probably travel the world to some other places, but Bali would definitely be one of the first things I did. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't watch sports. I don't know anything about sports, so don't ask me anything the only thing I know about is my son and what he's doing or playing or anything if he's not in it I don't know anything about it uh, I hate washing dishes and putting up laundry so uh, probably if you come to my house just like popping up there's probably gonna be dishes on the sink unless it's a Sunday because I try to make it a habit of doing dishes on Sundays <laughs> to at least get them out of the way but during the week it's probably some dishes in there um, the last movie that I saw was Queen and Slim. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that, but we can talk about that another time. I love motorcycles. Um, I love to take long walks and long drives. So for walking, like if I have my headphones on, I can literally walk for hours until my phone dies and it would not bother me. Um, taking long drives. I love being on the back of a bike or um, just in the car and just driving and looking at the scenery. Like that's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, eating is one of my other favorite things to do. Um, I don't do diets. A lot of people ask because of the personal training and all that kind of stuff. They're like, you don't eat or you do diets or I don't do any diets. Um, I believe in the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time you do right, the other 20% you can do pretty much whatever you want to do. Don't go crazy, but I mean, you have a lot of leeway with that 20%. Um, I'm also pretty active, so I mean, I eat what I want. I'm not very restrictive, um, but everything pretty much balances out. Um, I think that's it, you guys. So... Um, oh, and my word for 2020. So every year I come up with a word to kind of focus on. And my word for 2020 is freedom. So just to be financially free, spiritually free, mentally free, um, all of those things. I just want to be happy and I want to be free. So that is my focus this year, debt free. Like I just want to be free. I'm trying to um, really learn how to live instead of survive. I think I've been in survival mode for probably the last, man, maybe five or six years. And um, I'm just really ready to get settled and to live and enjoy life. So I think that is a pretty good place to start. Um, I would say if you made it to this video, I don't even know how long it is. I'm pretty sure that it was like 20 minutes. But if you made it to the end of the video, um, Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you want to know some other things, just drop me some questions below or, um, you know, however you can get in touch with me. Um, ask away. I don't have any problems answering any questions. 
and tell me tell me something about you like something that maybe nobody else would know drop that below in the comments and let's have a little chit chat um i think that's pretty much it thanks again for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing um and i will see you guys next time i'm gonna finish my tea and um then get to work so thank you guys bye